Is that a black page you hold? We can use that to unleash a new power within you. The power of the Black Chronicle is formidable, to be sure. It's worth a try. Here goes. That seems to have worked well. You'll find that your mana burst is much more powerful. And just as before, the boost carries over to your companions. What's different this time is that the effects of the power may vary depending on the user. Each of you should give it a try to determine the effects. Greater power, huh? All right. Now then, what will you do? Heading to the Vault of Time? Get serious. Continue onward. suffering such injuries. You've trained yourself well, Red One. Red One? Tell me, where am I? This is Celestia. Celestia? That's Sateros territory, if I remember right. But you're... I am Gafka. You might guess from my appearance that I am no Sateros. And indeed, I am a Gutrol. I am living in this town now, for personal reasons. Kafka. I'm at. Yeah, I know. Hmm? What's this now? Do you know him, Art? Um, do I? I don't remember. Am I the only one here? When you rescued me, was there anyone else nearby? Do you refer to the tough one? Don't worry, he is in Celestia as well. Stock, you're awake! Sonia, you made it too. 
And Rosh? Rosh is safe. Art and Gavka found us. They're giving us asylum in this village. I can't thank them enough for their kindness. I did nothing but carry the two unconscious humans here. It is Ott who deserves your thanks. She is the one who arranged for your entry to the village. We gotta help each other out when we're in trouble. Thank you so much, Ott. Sonia, where's Rosh? He's recovering very nicely. In fact, he's out taking a walk around the village now. A walk? But when we left Alistair, he was... Yes, I couldn't believe it either. But it seems the overwhelming mana in this village accelerated his recovery. Although, right now, he's... No need to tell me. Huh? Go see him myself. Hey. <laughs> hey. You seem like you're all healed up. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm fine now. That's good, but you're still not at full strength. So don't push yourself, okay? <laughs> don't worry about me. Worry about Rosh. <laughs> about that. Rosh is... No. You should see for yourself. Hmm. All right, then. I'm glad that you're better. Don't try and push yourself, though. I'm just going to go look for Rosh. I'll be back soon. Okay. Oh, but don't leave the village. <laughs> There's a barrier surrounding the village that prevents humans from entering. Only a Sadoros can open the barrier. That's the only way humans can come in. So the barrier specifically locks humans out. I'll keep that in mind. So, that big warrior's name is Rosh, huh? While the mana in this village is definitely helping, he still recovers shockingly fast. He was walking around outside today. I think he's pretty much recovered from his injuries. She said she knew how to grow them. Thank you. 
Stark. Long time no see. Yeah. Are you in better shape now? <laughs> you can talk to me, Rosh. My brigade. What happened to them? Honestly, I don't know what became of anyone except you. We know broadly what happened. Selvan sent Palesen's brigade to ambush you. And he was able to do that because Hugo sold you out. Isn't anyone else left? In the moment, you were the only one I could take. Why not kill instead of me? Or Scott? Or Roy? Or Baleen? They were all new recruits. I finally learned their names. Where are they? Why did you save me? I swore to Kiel that I'd protect you, come what may. He believed you'd rise again to lead Alistel down the right path. Everyone did. They placed all their hopes on you. They... Damn it! Even then, I'm just... There's nothing I can do in this state. The gauntlet replacing my arm is busted. What do you expect me to do like this, Stock? And you? Why didn't you protect your men? That's your duty as a superior officer! You're nothing but a... Forgive me. You did nothing wrong. I'm the one to blame. I was so focused on the war that I couldn't protect them from the dangers lurking in Alistair. It would have been better if I just died then and there. That's not true. Don't give me that self-pitying nonsense. If Keel and the others were here right now, could you say those exact words to them? You survived because everybody else was counting on you. Your life isn't just yours anymore. So that'll be enough of that from you. Leave me. I don't want to see anyone right now. Sorry, Stock. Rosh said some terrible things. It's all right. You don't need to apologize for him. It's just, I've never seen him like that. He really seems defeated. It's possible that his broken gauntlet is getting to him. His left arm. He's never talked about that. And I've never asked. It'd be intruding too much on what must have been a traumatic event. But considering the situation, I think I need to know. What's the history behind it? I see no reason not to tell you. It happened a long time ago. One day, a certain new recruit was assigned to serve in a brigade with my brother. This recruit was severely wounded in battle and lost his left arm. Since my brother was also a Thaumatech engineer, he performed surgery to save the soldier. In the process, he grafted the long and development mechanical arm to him, the gauntlet. That new recruit was, of course, our Rosh. My brother was especially fond of him. So that's how he got such cutting-edge technology, even as a low-ranking soldier. Rosh bounced back, but the gift of his Thaumatech meant he'd be forever in debt to the army. Naturally, the army couldn't let their most prized technology out of their possession. Having that gauntlet makes him, by extension, property of the army rather than Alistel. Rosh is a soldier at heart. 
I don't think he resents the army having a hold over him. On the contrary, he uses that gauntlet with pride. Rosh thinks using the gauntlet in the service of the military is the best way to repay my brother. His left arm was his very soul as a soldier. Now that soul's been shattered, and he was unable to protect his own brigade. I understand better now. If the gauntlet means that much to him, did your brother also die in battle? Yes. Two years ago. I was told it was an honorable death, that he was considerate of his men to the last. I see. Rosh supported me through that. That's why it's my turn to support him now. But there's nothing I can do. The only way I can help is to be by his side. Nothing I say seems to reach him. And call me selfish if you like, but I don't want him fighting anymore. I'm tired of seeing everyone hurt and bleeding. Sonia. I'm sorry. A doctor should be thinking more rationally. But I'm being serious when I say I don't want him to fight anymore. And Stock, I could say the same about you. The gauntlet is Rasha's soul. Unless it's fixed, I doubt he'll be able to pull out of this. Anyway, even if he does pull himself together, he can't go back into battle like this. Is there any way you can repair his gauntlet? Not with the equipment here, unfortunately. My boss, Fennel, is the most skilled Thaumatech scholar there is. He taught me how to service the gauntlets for Rosh's sake, so I do have the know-how. I just don't have the core parts to do it with. Core parts? Can't we use what we have? It's not that simple. The core parts are the basis for control of the gauntlet's movement. I didn't realize until I had him on the table how fierce the battle must have been. The core parts that should have been in his gauntlet were broken, completely unrecoverable. I could make new ones from scratch, but I'd need a facility like the one at Alistair Castle. Or if I could get my hands on an unused gauntlet, I could salvage core parts from that. There you are, Red One. I hope I'm not interrupting. Would you mind coming with me? The Patriarch is calling for you. Who is this Patriarch? Go on, Stock. I'll stay with Raj. It's the only thing I can do. All right. Look after him for me, and call me if anything comes up. And Sonia, don't take it so hard. Thank you. Where are we off to? This way. In here. You're expected. Patriarch Baranka, I have brought the Red One. Indeed. What do you want? Show some respect, why don't you? By whose grace do you think a filthy human is allowed here? No, no. But... Elm, you're a lady. Try acting like one. I'm sure it would help our injured guest feel more at home. <laughs> Sh shut up! Butt out, okay? Really? Treating humans as our guests is just... No, no. <clears throat> it's all right. Let's get down to business.
so you want my help as well. All right. I do owe you for taking us in. <laughs> and here I'd been fantasizing about what I could do to you if you refused. <sighs> I'm surprised at how rude you can be sometimes. Elm's hatred for humans isn't easy to deal with. Elm! Stark's not a bad guy. Don't say nasty things about him. Y you too, Lady Ott? Russia's gauntlet. Where... how did you get this? Never mind that. Can you check something right now? Is the part you need in this gauntlet? May I see it for a second? Oh. Yes. The core parts are still there and intact. But if I try and take them out with the tools I have here, I may break them. What do you need to get it out safely? Back in Alistel, I had the facilities I'd need for this kind of work. But to go back there now is impossible. This might be for the best, though. If I could fix it, then Rosh would be able to fight again. I see. Sorry to bother you. Just to be sure. The tools you need are in Alistel, right? Got it. Thank you, Sonia. I might be able to get the core parts out of that gauntlet if I can get into the lab at Alistel. I just want to be alone right now. 